nothing to do with the argument itself. Uh, but I mentioned briefly the ones that stood out to me, right? The medical insurance makes sense. Infrastructure problems like electricity, of course, makes sense. Mortgage problems makes sense. Education makes sense. I'll add some from my own experiences. Uh, safety, people are being kidnapped. It makes sense you've said that. People are being killed, makes sense. Now let me wrap up everything in a very simple way. We need development. So we need to use all sources possible. So we bring, we bring, we bring the people back to Egypt, we use every single source, then we will start to develop. When we develop, we reach stability. When we reach stability, we meet the criteria for safety. Okay, economical growth, with economical growth, we will meet safety. After we, we are after after safety comes more time to think about the educational system because we're not facing many issues concerning the safety and the, and the economy anymore. So once we fix our educational system, we will develop even faster, which will create like a, a cycle that, that's growing exponentially. We keep on growing, growing, growing. Once after that we reach a point where the diasporas will have please 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 respect the speaker. Please respect the speaker. Once we, once we reach that point, once we reach that point, we will not need to, uh, to, to go to countries abroad and look for other chances. Because think, think of it that way. You're not being selfish towards the country. You're being selfish towards others in your position. You just give up easily. You go abroad or you save up the money. What, what if there's someone else in your exact same position that can't afford to go abroad? That's how you make selfish. You're putting them in a worse situation. If you stay here and give up and give your country more resources, people like you will be in a better state. Uh, earlier, it was mentioned that if they come back, how will they help the economy? I'll give you two simple, very simple examples. Ahmed Zouil, Magdi Aoun, two diasporas. First one came back, used his knowledge to open a, a hospital in Losur, which was worth three. Sorry, thirteen billion dollars overall in worth. Uh, with 900 operations weekly, successful operations, part operations. Second person, Ahmed Zouil, came back, is opening a university of uh, modern sciences that is, it, it, it is easy to the speaker, that is benef benefiting the, the, the country greatly. And one other point, when you said, uh, why would they come, when Maron said, why would they come back and they wouldn't even be recognized here? I'll, I'll give you just one simple example. They can be recognized, uh, recognized. Aisha Mustafa. She's a student in an Egyptian school, uh, not even a private school, okay? It's a governmental school, which means, like you guys said, she's not being that recognized. Because of how smart she is, NASA, because she brought up a new quantum theory, uh, quantum physics theory, NASA recognized her when she's in an Egyptian governmental school, and they hired her, and now she's working with NASA. Raising, and at the same time, she's mentioning Egypt, not, not abroad, because she's giving Egypt a name. She's saying, I learned in Egypt. I did not give up on Egypt. She helped the whole system here. And one of other things, someone said, it's okay, we can work abroad and send money. No, money is not beneficial on its own. If you come back, you open an industry. Let's say, for example, I'm having business ideas or I'm opening a factory abroad. You come back, if you open it here, and someone mentioned unemployment rates, okay. Unemployment, typical unemployment is, is, is when someone is unemployed between two jobs. Like they're taking, they're taking the rest, and then now they can't find a job anymore. You would solve that issue if you come back to the industry, you're giving more job opportunities, you're helping those in need, and at the end of the day, I have a question to wrap up everything for you. Which is better, to be successful abroad, okay, be successful and live, uh, live abroad and have, have a name, or be successful and live in your own country, with your own culture, knowing that when your kids grow up, they will not be lost between different cultures and societies. Thank you.